Good morning, everyone. We're back hoping you're having a great start to your Wednesday. Yeah, let's check in with Aaron for today's forecast. So there is a chance we could see some flurries across South Central to start off the morning uh, with some isolated and scattered areas of rain and snow into the early afternoon. Uh, no significant weather advisories for mainland Alaska, but we are seeing a high wind warning out towards the Aleutians uh, where we could see some winds gusting upwards of about 80 miles per hour as we welcome in our uh, remainder of today on into a Thursday. Even out towards uh, just west of ADAG, there is a hurricane force wind warning. Later today into the evening hours, we could see seas upwards of about 40 uh, feet as that storm continues to build in uh, from the west, and that's going to lead to those increasing winds as well as widespread rainfall uh, across the we uh, region. So far this morning, no significant winds, 16 miles per hour in King Cove, 18 in ADAC, but these winds will steadily increase uh, through the remainder of today by late this afternoon into the evening hours. Uh, ADAC will begin to see those winds upwards of about 70 to 75 miles per hour. And then out towards Nome and Unalakleet, we're seeing those winds up to about 30 miles per hour. We do have an area of low pressure that continues to weaken uh, through Prince William Sound. That's going to keep that chance for some rain and snow with us uh, for today. But what we're really watching is that area of low pressure uh, that's out uh, just southwest of ADAC and Shimya. That's going to steadily build off towards the northeast. Uh, here over the next uh, 24 hours. And as it does, for at least the next few hours, it will continue to deepen. Uh, that's why we're going to see those winds gusting upwards of about 80 miles per hour. Uh, ADAC could see up to an inch of rainfall. And then we're going to watch that low beginning to build into the bearing. That's going to stall out in the bearing. We're going to see steady winds uh, anywhere from about 60 to 70 miles per hour for the Provolofs as we welcome in our, our th uh, overnight hours on into Thursday, but really not impacting mainland Alaska. Uh, it's going to uh, really stall out over the bearing and weaken as we welcome in the weekend. For us here across the next 24 hours uh, for South Central, we're actually going to continue to hold on to that chance for some rain and snow as we watch another area of low pressure build into the eastern Gulf of Alaska. That will also lead to uh, widespread rain making a return to the panhandle uh, for the foreseeable future. So go ahead and prepare for that and enjoy the drier weather that you will see today uh, across uh, southeast with those temperatures sitting uh, in the 50s. Uh, we've got some snow continuing across the slope with temperatures in the 30s, 40 in Anchorage, some sunshine from Kodiak out towards uh, Dillingham and Bethel, as well as Cold Bay, where we are so, uh, still holding on to at least a ridge of high pressure uh, in the northern Pacific Ocean that will keep things fairly sunny. Uh, for you. Across South Central today, again, some areas of wintry mix do look possible. Uh, sunshine, though, for Kodiak. We got 46 degrees in Seward. Uh, rain continues through parts of Prince William Sound, where we could see up to a quarter of an inch for Cordova. Uh, Whittier, some rain and snow expected for you. And then into the uh, Copper River Basin, uh, we've got those temperatures sitting in the upper 30s. Upper 30s, lower 40s expected for the valley. Uh, even out towards the Anchorage Bowl, we're expected those temperatures to top out near 40 degrees later today. Uh, into our Thursday, the better opportunity for seeing some rain and snow in the forecast with some light accumulation for parts of South Central. And then into the weekend, we actually begin another warming trend back into the mid to upper 40s, uh, meaning the wintry mix and snow that we will see will transition back to rain showers. Those overnight lows also warming back into the mid to upper 30s. All right, thank you.